<laughs> these numbers have something in common. Can you spot what it is? We call these numbers multiples of powers of 10. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. 10, 100, and 1000 are all examples of multiples of powers of 10. We can multiply the number 10 by 10, which we know is 100. We can then multiply 100 by 10, which is 1000. Did you know that we can also multiply this number by 10? But did you know that there are simple tricks we can use when multiplying and dividing a decimal number by these multiples of powers of 10? These tricks will be especially helpful when dealing with large quantities of money. When we multiply or divide a decimal number by multiples of powers of 10, all we have to do is move the decimal point to the right or to the left. The first trick to remember is which direction we move our decimal point. When we are multiplying, we need to move the decimal place to the right. When we are dividing, we move the decimal place to the left. The second trick to remember is that no matter whether we are multiplying or dividing decimals by 10, 100, or 1000, we move the decimal point the same number of places as the amount of zeros in the number. Let's have a closer look to show you just how all of this works. When multiplying a decimal by 10, 100, or 1000, we move the decimal point to the right. We can see that by doing this, the number becomes bigger. Let's take the number 1.5. What is 1.5 multiplied by 10? Because we are multiplying 1.5 by 10, and 10 has one zero, we move the decimal point one place to the right. When we move the decimal point one place to the right, we get the answer, 15. Therefore, 1.5 times 10 equals 15. What happens if we want to find out what 1.5 times 100 is? Well, we know that 100 has two zeros. So to solve 1.5 times 100, all we need to do is move the decimal point two places to the right. This means 1.5 times 100 equals 150. How do you think we might find out what 1.5 times 1000 is? That's right. Because there are three zeros in 1000, we move the decimal point three places to the right. Now we know that 1.5 times 1,000 equals 1,500. Let's look at another example. Albert is paying people to deliver newspapers door to door. He pays each person $10.40 for one hour of work. If Albert is paying 100 people to do the newspaper route, how much money will he need to have to make sure everyone gets paid? Let's break this question down. We know that every person who is delivering papers gets paid $10.40. Albert needs to pay 100 people this amount, which means we need to multiply $10.40 by 100. We know that we have to move the decimal point one place for each zero in the number we are multiplying by. Because we are multiplying by 100, we need to move the decimal point two places to the right. Albert will need to have $1,040 to pay everyone for one hour's work. Remember, if you are multiplying a decimal by 10, 100, or 1,000, you move the decimal point to the right. And don't forget to count the zeros in these numbers, because they will tell you straight away how many places to shift your decimal. <laughs> 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 